How's it going, guys? Let's get right to the topic of this video. Um, Lane Kiffin was fired. Yes, I know Tennessee fans are rejoicing right now, um, which I can't blame them. I mean, when I saw his news, I wasn't very surprised. I told BVD back when he got hired for Tennessee, I said it was going to be a disaster when I commented on one of the videos. I knew it was going to be a disaster in USC. I mean, why does anybody hire Lane Kiffin? I mean, really, people, please, who see this video, if you think there's a reason behind him hiring Lane Kiffin, other than the fact that Monty was his coordinator for a while, please let me know why, because I don't see why. You know, he was terrible in Oakland. He was terrible in Tennessee. He wasn't even he wasn't even at Tennessee for a year before he bolted for what he thought was going to be greener pastures. And then when he got to USC, it was a disaster. It was a disaster right from the start. Because he had Matt Barkley and that dream group of receivers. He had them for two years and didn't even get close to a national championship. I mean, when you have all that talent and you can't make a championship, that just shows you're a bad head coach. You know, and for anybody who cares, he only went 28 and 15. He went 28 and 15 at USC in four years. 28 and 15, folks. He didn't get close to a national championship. He had all the talent in the world and still couldn't get close. I mean, I understand they were under sanctions for the for like the last two or three years he was there. I understand the the recruiting. He didn't have as many scholarships. I get that. But even with the scholarships he did have, he should have still been able to get good guys. I mean, you're in the middle of L.A. All you got to say when you go to recruit somebody is, Hey, Mr. Recruit, we're in the middle of L.A. You got all the stuff in the world to do. You got lights, cameras, all that. You get all the attention in the world in L.A. Uh, come play for us. Sure. Sign my name. Um, but, yet, but yet again, if you look at his recruiting rankings... They were terrible. They were terrible. And the recruits he did get didn't produce anything. So again, that's another red flag toward bad head coach. Um, so, you know, when you take a team like that and yet it's in so much turmoil, and it is in turmoil, ladies and gentlemen, that team went from top of the heap to middle of the road, if they're lucky. And... You know, they're going to have to do a full court press at the end of the season to try to find a new head coach, trying to find the head coach quick to try to get some recruits back in there. If the recruiting class does fall apart, I don't think it will. I, you know, Ed Orgeron is a new head coach or interim head coach. Um, I don't think the recruiting class is going to fall apart. And the reason why I say that is because it wasn't much to fall apart to begin with. Um, so... It's going to basically be a rebuilding project for whatever coach takes it. And it's a dream job for a lot of coaches. I mean, why wouldn't it be? So I'm pretty sure that they're probably going to have a pretty good list of coaches to come take over. Um, on the, I think Lane Kiffin's career as a head coach is over. I think that he will only be hired as a coordinator if he is hired as a coordinator. Um, because I think that a lot of programs, and I've said this before, I think that the programs he did work for, going all the way back to Oakland, I think that they dealt with Lane's antics because they got Monty Kiffin to coordinate their defenses. And that isn't surprising. I mean, Monty Kiffin has a reputation as one of the best defensive minds in football. So, of course, they're willing, they're, they, they sit there and they go, okay, well, let's put up with Lane and let Lane act like head coach and act like he knows what he's doing. To get his father to coordinate our defenses, and you know, and then when Monty left to go to Dallas, Lane didn't have a leg to stand on. I mean, you can only replace and hire so many new guys before your name comes up, and when it does, there's no defense to it. I mean, you can't sit here and say, "Well, I change this coordinator, I change that coordinator, change this position coach, whatever," because the results never changed when he would change coaches and change coordinators and stuff the results never changed they were still they were still terrible they they were still underachieving they weren't getting anywhere close to where they should have been so i mean of course 
it I mean I said it at the beginning of the season to some people that I talked to I said he would have to make a Pac-12 or national title run to keep his job and again he's not going to win Pac-12 now no way um, he's not going to win a national championship either well that does it for this video guys I hope you guys enjoyed it again I do a blog I will leave a link to the blog right down there in the description leave me some comments constructive criticism is always welcome um, and please help spread the word about my channel subscribe like and please do, do not hesitate to comment let me know what you guys think I'm interested to see Big Vol Daddy I'm looking for a video response from you my friend um, I want to see what you thought about this I saw your video earlier your little video alright guys well have a good day